never can say goodbye. No, 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 my never can say goodbye. Even though the pain and heartache seem to follow me wherever I go. And though I try, try to hide my feelings, they always seem to show. And then you try to say you're leaving me. And I always have to say no. Tell me why. Is it so? <laughs> Not I. That's the song I think about when I, when I think about Hassan Campbell. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome to this place I like to call the mental house where we try to deal with these mentals because um, when you look at the community as a whole, you know, we are so traumatized. We are so traumatized and as opposed to... Um, sitting there and working out our own infallibilities. We try to bring everybody in on the madness because it stops us from dealing with our own stuff. And you might say, where am I going with this? You know, Brother Hassan Campbell been through a lot. He's been through a lot. And he's been traumatized as a young fella. And that trauma is what a lot of us experience in this community. And we, come, we become adults and we don't know how and where to drop that trauma off. So what we do is we put ourselves in a situation where um, we just go through more drama. Um, now him, I, I did a video the other day, you know, just saying I hope he was okay. And saying that, you know, I think I've watched a couple, you know, things that he's done. Um, but I, he turned me off when, um, you know, he was arguing with these going crazy in the one McDonald's or something. And I was like, what the hell is wrong with him? So I just, I didn't, it turned me totally off. The energy was just out of bounds. And I didn't watch him anymore. And that was several years ago. Um, but um, I was watching another content creator. Um, and I'm sure y'all know I'm on the Late Show. Storm Monroe. And what he did was kind of play the history of what happened that day when my man got shot. Now... He was out there calling for the drama. He was calling for the smoke. He was calling for the energy was so bad. And they were throwing objects at him from the windows. That's how bad it got. And he is so disturbed by what happened to him. He's from Bronx River. Project. And he's so disturbed. I mean, this is where he continues to go back to. He continues to talk about the trauma, not with no professionals now, with us as YouTube um, creators and listeners, okay? So he doesn't have anywhere to go with all this, this mess, and it's heavy. Like all of us that carry trauma, this should be heavy. But the thing about it is, most of us, I'm not saying all now, some but all, <laughs> um, some of us know how to work on that trauma, get some healing from that trauma, understand what trauma is, understand what, how it affects all of us, and especially in the black community. We can't help but be traumatized. We got trauma all in our, our our cellular DNA. And if you think you don't, you're a liar. 
you have you you are very mistaken if you think you don't carry the drama and the trauma not only that you done created on this chain of cycle of DNA but that your forefathers and your ancestors and gave you the trauma that comes from that that pain body so this is all my opinion and I would hope that I don't turn on and um, see that her son got smoked and deleted because he can't you can't walk around with that energy you can't walk around and I know what happened to you. I deal with that all the time when I get a lot of uh, emails of, from people from church, people who have been traumatized and, and victimized, and, um, and they don't have a place for that anger. A lot of them go to drugs. A lot of them go to alcohol. And I think that it seems to me that you have some, and I'm not a therapist even though I... <laughs> I have dabbled in psychology. You just seem to have some type of substance abuse. And some of those things I recognize. Because I'm, but by the gr grace of God, there go I. Okay? So I know what it's like to use drugs. I know what it's like um, to. I can't say I know what it's like to be uh, drink alcohol, but I, I know substance abuse. And unless you get some help for it, unless you check yourself, you know, before you wreck yourself, you're going to be, like, out there bad. And that's how I see Mr. Campbell. And all I can say is, and this is the last video I'm going to do about him, because um, y'all know this is something I don't do. But I'm just really concerned for this brother. It's like I'm just looking at, hey, to me, you represent just what's going on in the hood. The drama, the pain. You know, and a lot of people make fun of you, you know, and they, they make fun of your abuse, which I find just appalling. Um, and I don't know you, but I hope that you get the help that you so deserve. That you so deserve. And I hope that you can find some peace for your weary soul. Because if you don't, you you going you going that energy you calling out is coming. It'll meet you head on. Just like pop. It'll meet you head on. So with that being said, I, look, I'm done. Uh, if you like what you hear, subscribe and share. Leave me your comment. What y'all think about Hassan um, and his being shot um, and then getting out and still talking shit? I mean, what, what the, what? Instead of putting some distance and using that, you know, as a, a moment that he can teach himself, but talking about doing stuff to people's mothers and pushing them downstairs and murdering them with spoons. And I was like, oh, dude. Okay. All right. Let me know what y'all think. Maybe it's me. You know, I done got a little old and cantankerous now. So let me know what you think. Okay. Uh, leave your comment below. I really appreciate it. If you like what you hear, please like. Please share. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, and I'll see you in the next one.